One fair way to increase revenue for Illinois is the LaSalle Street tax. But what is it, and how does it work? Chicago is home to two of the largest financial markets in the world, both located right here in downtown's LaSalle Street Financial District. In these two markets, millions of stocks and bonds are being bought and sold, and amazingly, no taxes are collected on any of these transactions. To correct this flaw, let's propose a small LaSalle Street tax on each financial transaction. This calls for a $1 fee on each agricultural transaction and $2 on every other trade. That's it. It amounts to less than one one-thousandth of a percent on the average contract value. The small tax adds up quick. The proposal is estimated to increase revenue by 10 to $12 billion a year. That's billions of dollars a year to properly fund schools and social services and bring our state out of crippling debt. Why doesn't this already exist? Well, that's because the millionaires and billionaires who benefit from the current system, like Governor Rauner and our Democratic opponents, claim that taxing these markets have chased them away. It's just not true. Countries around the world have had financial transaction taxes for years, with no repercussions. When you and I go to the hardware store and buy a screwdriver, we pay a 6.25% sales tax to the state, but when the richest people in the history of the world do hundreds of millions of dollars in trades, they don't pay a dime. That's wrong. This is a fair and sensible tax, and it is way beyond time that we finally ask the richest few to pay their share.